Well, let's get to our breaking news from the Amanda Knox murder trial. This morning, a jury in Perugia, Italy, is now deciding if the Seattle woman is guilty of killing a fellow exchange student. CBS News correspondent Alan Pizzi is at the courthouse in Perugia with the very latest. Alan, good morning. Good day, Harry. Well, the jury of two judges and six local citizens was sequestered just about two and a half hours ago. And lawyers here say they expect them to deliberate for up to 18 hours before reaching a verdict. The 22-year-old Seattle student looked serious-faced when she entered the court for the final defense summary. Amanda Knox e Raffaele Sollecito. Her lawyers stayed protectively close, doing their best to keep Knox calm and collected. Her family faced a massive press who have descended to cover the finale of an event that took place more than two years ago in the trial that has been going on for 10 months. In a last-minute appeal late yesterday afternoon, Knox told the court she was afraid of having what she called the mask of the assassin forced on me. Speaking fluent Italian in a halting voice, Knox said she was afraid of losing myself, afraid of being convicted for something I am not and something I did not do. The jury have to decide not only on the murder charge against Knox and her former boyfriend, Raffaele Selecito, but also rule on lesser charges, including staging a break-in at the cottage where the murder took place. The population of this medieval hilltop city just wants it to be over. I don't know if it's correct to say it, but I don't give a damn about it. The judge actually has two votes on the jury. And in the event of a hung jury, Italian law requires him to vote for acquittal. Harry? Alan Pizzi in Perugia this morning. Thank you.